one of the most important things to understand is how you can use variable words to refer to changeable data. The way that you create a variable in Rebel is you take a word, any set of characters that you want to use, in this case I'm going to create a variable called picture, and I'm going to use to refer to some data that I download, uh, an image, a picture that I download from a website. I could use any set of characters that I want to refer to that that data. It doesn't have to be the word picture. It doesn't matter to Rebel. You could use word easy bop if you want. Um, and what you do is you put a colon after it, and that symbol, the colon symbol, assigns the data afterwards um, to be referred by that uh, by that word. So in this case, the word picture will now refer to the data that's downloaded from that from that uh, image on um, the internet, and we can put that into a, um, a GUI using the words view layout. Um, in this case, the, uh, in the layout, there's going to be an image, and instead of having that entire um, uh, URL in the load statement, we can just use the word picture and the data that was referred to. In that case, will be inserted there. So copy and paste that into Rebel, and now it's been da downloaded. You can see that it's giving you a little response there telling you that the image has been downloaded. And now pop it into a, a little window, a GUI window, and it does the same thing that, that the code did before when we refer directly to that image. The nice thing about variables is that they are variable. We can change the data that's referred to by picture. In this case, now we're going to load um, a different picture, a different image. And when we put that into another GUI, now we get the new picture referred to by that same word. So data is changeable when you're assigning variable words to, to any data. Um, we could also get that data from any other place on the, um, uh, or any other device available to Rebel. We could load it from a hard drive, from a flash drive, from, um, uh, from a website, from an FTP server, any other place. We could read it from a mail server um, and assign that data to a, a variable of our choosing. Um, and Rebel um, can assign variables to data of any type. We just assigned it to a binary image uh, data, but it can be assigned to text in this case, we're creating a variable called a color, and we're assigning it the text um, blue. When we do this, um, now you'll see a color refers to the text blue. If we alert it, or if we print it, let's see, I copy and paste those both. Now the word blue is alerted, and here it's printed. Um, you assign number data. Um, in this case, uh, we're assigning the number 12 to the variable a number. And again, it doesn't have to be something that uh, uh, actually refers to that type of data. Rebel doesn't care, but in your programming, you want to be able to understand for your for your own uh, needs what you're referring to with the variable. So it's helpful to use a descriptive word. In this case, a number refers to a number. Uh, we can print that number. We can put it into a GUI. We can. Um, do computations with it, uh, we can use it as if we're typing in that number. Um, if we want to change it later, we can change that number to something else, and we don't have to change any of our code. Print that number again, it'll print the new, um, the, the new variable data. Here we're assigning uh, to the variable computation, it's actually the result of this computation put that into REPL, and now wherever we use the word computation, it's going to give us 
that number that's been assigned. Print it. And of course we can change that value to anything else that we'd like. Reassign it. We'll assign it some text. And now whenever we use that new value for the word computation, it will give us the new value. Again, we can assign that data um, to, to just about any data source. We can download it, we can um, um, grab it from a, a server somewhere. Um, you can also get it from a user. You can get, for example, a file name um, by assigning the word file name or any other word um, to the result of a request file function. So what's going to happen here is um, it's going to assign the result of this request file function to the word file name. Now when we type in the word file name, we'll get that value that's assigned to it. If we choose a different file name, we'll get a different file name whenever we use the word file name. Use the file name refers to the new data. Uh, we can print it. Same goes for um, color requesters or any of the other requesters that you saw earlier. A date requester, um, username and password, um, web pages that are um, that are read from uh, files and any other data that, that we can work with in Rebel. Um, Rebel makes it real easy to uh, to assign that data to something that's simple for us to remember and reuse later on in the program. So we can see here this is assigning an email address to the variable word email address. This line we're assigning a message, a text message, to the variable word message. And this next line we're using the function send to send to that email address this message. 